Alright, it's kind of a late intro, but we've seen a few deer. Matt Belts and I are walking together. It's our first night here in Western Maryland. We got a little snow today. I don't think there's going to be much snow for the rest of the week, though. So we'll enjoy it today and tomorrow morning. Um, we're doing a walk. We came in from a different angle to check a spot that we want to hunt Saturday. We saw a deer there, and then we saw a spike and one other unidentified deer here. Um, we're trying to get to a field it's usually got corn planted in it trying to get to that before it gets dark here we got a little over half an hour of spot and stalk time that we're going to try to cover some ground and then we're walking all the way out to the far side to meet up with uh, my dad so we're walking trying to make some make some tracks here but we've seen a couple good side of deer moving hopefully tomorrow morning is a good morning set this thing down so I can get to walking. Them, baby. Booyah. Yes. Got him. All right, so this is morning two. It's uh, December 9th in Western Maryland. We walked in here right at daybreak um, is when we left the truck. We were about a couple minutes after legal shooting light walking out away from the truck. Um, I walked in here last night. We saw a spike right in this area and a few other deer. So we dropped Matt Belts off at the rock that we went to and saw where we saw the doe last night. He, uh, he dropped into there at that rock that he likes to hunt from. I came up, so Christian went north of me this way or sorry, no, that's not north of me. It's kind of south of me, actually. Um, he went he went above me on the hill, and I came down into here, and I should have had my camera in my pocket, but unfortunately it was in my pack. I saw a spike way down, or not a spike, it was like a little five or six point. It was way down in there, about 150 yards. I was trying to see if I could get a shot at him, and uh, wasn't having much luck with it. it, was it as you can see, it's real thick down in there. And I heard something coming from my left, and coming right through here was a coyote. I was literally standing like right behind those sticks there. And I shot it right here. Um, it was our 400. This is the second coyote I've ever killed. Um, the first one I've ever killed out here in Western Maryland. So I have another, another pelt I can add to my collection here. Not a very big coyote, she's probably about 30 pounds, but I'm gonna find a spot I'm gonna sit right in here. Probably might drop right down into these rocks here by this or by this big tree or something. I'm gonna sit and watch this bottom. So that's my plan for the morning. I'm gonna get some stuff moved around, but got a coyote on the ground and uh by the way Matt and Matt belts over on his rock right after I shot the coyote, he shot a five point. So we've got a five point and a coyote down so far on this hunt and we're only um, about 40 minutes into the second morning here so that's all for now let me go ahead and uh, close this down and get my gear set up and uh, find a spot to sit all right 
So this is where I've settled on sitting here. I got decent shooting across this little valley here. All right, we're back at the truck here. <laughs> we got our coyote and one little five point that Matt Belt shot. So, good morning in the woods here. Matt is tagged out on bucks, so he gets to just hang out with one of us for the remainder of the weekend here till Saturday when it's doe day. But, pretty cool. First coyote we've ever killed up here. And, uh, Matt's rock produced again. So, we're gonna get these guys loaded up, go pick Matt Gibbons up, and then, uh, head back to the cabin. We're gonna do a afternoon walk. So, that's it for now. Alright. So, we are at a different location this time. We've been, we walked in the woods a couple hundred yards here just to get off the roadway. Found this really cool rocky outcropping. It's real thick back behind this area. There's an old clear cut that's all grown up. Real thick and saplings back there. But this, this rocky outcrop here goes along for a while. We've been walking the edge of it. But it, it, you actually have really good shooting all into this little valley with some thick hemlock there. And it's just kind of an open area. There was a lot of deer activity moving into this area. So this might be a potential spot to sit. Tonight we're just kind of doing a walk and scout thing. Um, I killed that coyote this morning and uh, Matt over here killed that five point so he's tagged out so he's just walking with me. He's got a rifle in case we see some coyotes again but uh, he's just tagging along with me until doe day. That way he can do some filming for us. So like I said this is just a really cool outcropping. Very good spot to do our intro. So uh, we'll see how the rest of the afternoon goes. Dad and Ron and uh, Rob are back at Nebo. And uh, myself, Matt Belts, and my brother Matt and brother-in-law Christian, we're over here. Um, we're all spread out. There's a huge private or public piece here. So a lot of area to cover. We're just kind of exploring for tonight, see if we find something we want to try to hunt in the morning. All right, it's pretty much an illegal shooting light. It's plenty bright with the uh, snow on the ground, but we just got back to the truck here, kind of still hunted our way out. Um, we did a real long walk, Matt Belts and I, and uh, we got a couple spots in there that we really liked. Um, it was mostly an exploration trip, and uh, we didn't see any deer, a lot of sign, a lot of rubs, a lot of tracks. So that's the end of day two. I haven't heard anything from anybody, if anybody shot anything yet, so we're waiting for Matt to get out here and then we're going to go pick up Christian. So that's the end of day two. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Alright, so day three, it's Friday, it is December 10th, and uh, we're just setting out from the truck. Um, Matt Belts and I are going to walk. We were here last night. Saw a lot of deer sign, a lot of buck sign. Um, so we're walking in right at, right at Leo Shooting Light here. Still a little snow left. It's warm this morning. It's about 40 degrees. So I'm sure this snow is going to melt pretty quick. But uh, we're uh, going to enjoy it while it's here. There's probably going to be no snow by this afternoon and then it's supposed to start raining a little bit tonight and then uh, it's gonna get real rainy tomorrow we should have a couple hours in the morning though for doe day so hopefully we can get in and get it done before the rain happens but we'll see so we're gonna slip across the road here and uh, get on it
was the last one. I got it. There. There was four of them snuck in behind as I just turned around and they were... I heard a stick break. I turned around and they were standing right there. So, it was all dozed though, so we couldn't shoot them. Alright, last evening a buck only. My belt's never set up on this little rise looking over this bottom here. Hope maybe a uh, buck will come through here tonight. If not, we got a couple hours in the morning before it's going to start raining and we're going to hunt. So, we're going to try to get out there super early. Make sure we beat anybody in that area. And uh, get set up and wait for daybreak. But this is uh, where we're going to spend the rest of the evening here. Alright. Well, it's the end of uh, day three here. I just got back to the truck. I wait on my dad. So, obviously, he's not focusing in the car here. There we go. So, waiting on him to come back. No deer sightings for us this evening here at this property. Um, tomorrow morning's doe day. I said before, looks like we're gonna have some pretty nasty rain in the afternoon, so we'll have a few hours hopefully in the morning of no rain is what they're calling for that we can hopefully we get out and the deer are moving. It's supposed to rain some overnight and then stop around four or five AM. So we're gonna try to get in the woods super early, sit it out and uh with any luck we'll bust something early and uh get out before the rain starts. So we'll see. Hopefully it's a good morning. It is currently 5.43, no, 5.45, give or take. So, Matt Belts and I are set up in here. He killed a buck from this location earlier this year. We've always done well here at Doe Day, so we're all doubled up. Matt and Christian went up near where I shot the coyote earlier. They're sitting up there, and then Ron and Dad are over on top of Roman Nose on the far side of the property. Um, we got in really early. Legal shooting light is 6.57. I said we got a little over an hour to a legal light, but we wanted to get in early. Make sure we get this spot, because last year somebody took it from us. We ended up killing here in the afternoon, but we came in and there were people walking around down in here with flashlights when we were walking in. So we got in super, super early this morning, and now it's just time to wait for it to get daylight. All right. We are two minutes from the shooting light. We just had a deer. Can't really see it, but maybe five to seven yards it snuck in here and it blew at us and ran back up away from us. So we already had one deer come through at least. Hopefully some more do. It was still too early to shoot at her though. Quick update, we haven't seen anything other than that first deer before daylight, but uh, my dad and Ron, they had one deer come in, Ron killed that one, so we got one down so far, we've only heard a few shots in the first like 20-30 minutes here, so hopefully the deer are on their feet and moving, we got until about 10 o'clock before the rain's supposed to hit, so with any luck we'll get some more deer moving through here soon. Alright, another quick update. We just had two guys walk in on us. One of them walked across out that way. I finally got his attention and he went away from us, kind of back the direction he came. The second guy walked across above us along the edge of the clear cut and he just shot at something about probably 75, 80 yards from us where he shot. Hopefully something else still comes in and just screw us up, but Ron ended up shooting a uh, spike is what he ended up killing. He's got it up there, so now we're just, we're all sticking it out here. Just check the weather, looks like we've got to a little before 11 now, before the rain's supposed to start, so we'll hold out. Hopefully the wind holds out, hopefully some deer get on the feet. 